colleagues. It's been a long day. We've all been here a very long time. Seems unfortunately to be an unnecessary trend with this issue. Nearly two dozen trips many of us have taken to the city of Detroit to view schools. We've seen schools that are part of DPS, We've seen schools that are part of the Education Achievement Authority. We've seen schools that are run by char charter management companies. Because again, as a reminder, these are where all Detroit school kids go to school. 25 hours of testimony in the House Appropriations Committee, I think 24.8, was the number that the chairman said. And I can't even tell you how many hours we've sat on the floor. I know we all know it's been a lot. I would like to be able to say that all of that was worth it because we have another grand bargain coming through just like we had for the bankruptcy that saved the city of Detroit. But instead, I have to call it all a complete waste. You had an offer from the majority of our caucus to vote in favor of a bipartisan plan that the Senate Republicans, the Senate Democrats, the governor, labor leaders, business leaders, even the national finance chair for Mitt Romney wanted. But no, you couldn't take the path that actually made sense, the path that actually had support you had to go out and trailblaze your own path that literally no one wants outside of the people who profit off of poorly educating poor kids. So what did the governor, the Senate, those business leaders, those reformers in Detroit ask for? Really only two major things. They asked you to pay off all the DPS debt that state appointees rung up and correct all of the problems that they deferred fixing. They asked you for some type of commission that provides real accountability for all taxpayer-funded schools in the, dis in the city. All taxpayer-funded schools, real accountability. They asked you to prevent crooks, deviants, and people who have, ha who have a past history of providing bad education from opening schools and opening them wherever they chose. That's basically it. None of that is in this plan. Instead, without this accountability, this teeth for all taxpayer-funded schools, you're setting up all of our constituents across the state for picking up the tab now and then picking it up again in a few short years because this is not a systemic fix. Without this accountability, you are handing out taxpayer-funded checks to every rotten person who can convince some of our less than careful and financially incentivized charter authorizers to grant their application. And that accreditation that the authorizers sold you on, it's self-policing. They can already do it. It's not accountability. It's a joke. So here, this package is a handout to criminals. And I don't take that lightly, so I want to give a couple of examples. Folks like Chantel Bell, former treasurer at George Washington Carver Academy in Highland Park. Under the same laws that this package doesn't change, her embezzlement went unreported until her ex-boyfriend found out that she had bought a house in the city of Detroit and charged it to the school as a textbook purchase. And folks, more recently, that was a three, three years ago or so, folks just this year, like Sharon McPhail. Many of us may remember Sharon McPhail. She was part of the Kwame Kilpatrick administration. She is currently serving as the superintendent of a charter school called, ironically, Detroit Community Schools. She has no experience in education, so when she was confronted that she had to be certified as an educator to be called a superintendent, she changed her title to chief administrative officer. Sharon, sadly, is not the only problem in, in DCS. 
The CFO and the dean of the school both have been thrown out of previous public positions for unlawful acts as well. And last year, setting all of these things aside, last year, how many DCS students passed the ACT since we're all concerned about academic achievement around here? Zero. Zero students passed the ACT, any of the sections. Not one. And since 2007, out of the hundreds of students they've graduated, two have passed. Two. This is what this package of bills continues to allow. There's no reform here at all. No accountability for taxpayer dollars. Let's go one step further. Written right into the language in these bills, new language. Let's talk about the deliberate act that will allow for crooks to get away with operating schools. You require poor performing Detroit schools, Detroit community schools, the new DPS, if you will, to close automatically. But you literally give a free pass to charters, an unlimited free pass, to reinvent themselves. This means you are actually making it easier on an unlimited basis for charters, poor performing charters to exist. This is absurd. And if all of that wasn't egregious enough, you add in that any old schmuck without any training will be allowed to teach in a new DPS classroom. You even want them to be automatically certified after a few years. Not in any of our classrooms, only in the classrooms of Detroiters. It's ridiculous. So I have to ask, I have to believe really that you don't care. That's what I've come to the conclusion of. And all these hours and all these trips with many of you on both sides of the aisle here. Our caucus has offered time and time and time again. I can't even count the, many, the amount of times that I've reached out and asked to work on a solution to fix all these problems. Not once have any of us been taken up on this offer. Not once. And I gotta believe, because I have no other way to conclude this, that this is a result of some folks from the west side of the state, born with silver spoons in their mouths, that want you to screw over a city of young black boys and girls. And you know that we would never agree to that. So this is yours, this is your package, you own it. And to quote this benefactor, the Great Lakes Education Project from Facebook, there is an especially nasty place in hell for those who steal from children. These bills steal more than just taxpayer dollars. They steal the future of Detroit school kids. You should vote this down, it's ridiculous.